hug everyone this is chapter 25 we are going to learn about iSCSI initiator it's a client side setup before we have seen how to set up a iSCSI target server here is that uh, now we are going to use a CentOS 7 machine for uh, using as a client side uh, the host name is CentOS7.LinuxGeekVideos.com this is the server setup in the target CLI uh, command line right now and we can see the file system 500 GB 500 MP and the IQC IQN number and the ACL and the LAN 0 has been shared from the CLA side let me navigate to the let me switch to the client side this is client to install the client side setup we need to have the package IQC utils let me search for the package yum search IQC we are getting some of the package name with the iSCSI. So the second one is the one we are going to use for the client side setup, iSCSI initiator utils. Just copy it, yum install. Provide with Y. We got the, we have installed the package and now we will get a command called iSCSI ADM. This command is the one we are going to use with the uh, client side setup. Let us see how to move forward with the iSCSI client side setup. Here we are going to use uh, some of the configuration. This is the under the CAD ETC iSCSI initiator name. This is the name which we have used in the server side to create the ACL for this machine. While we are creating, we have provided a step ACL step. It's the one. Uh, let me try to ping the server, iSCSI server using the IP 192.168.107.140 two times. Uh, I can able to ping the iSCSI target server so that we can uh, go ahead to uh, do a query. To do a query, the command will be a little bit longer. So I am going to run the man page, man iSCSI ADM, the manual of the iSCSI ADM command so that I will get the uh, press uh, shift and G at the bottom we can see the discover target at the given IP address I don't want to remember this command long command just copy the command to discover the command the first one and paste the command here and replace the IP with the uh, server or target CLI uh, servers IP it's 192.168.107.140 and press enter once we press enter we will get a IQN iSCSI target name. This is the target name which we have created in the target CLI command uh, target server. iSCSI target server. This is the IQN number. Under iSCSI, we can see some of the IQN name I have given. This is the target name I have uh, done a query in the client side and we got the reply. Now we need to log into the this SCSI disk. So for that, I am again going to run the manual page man iSCSI ADM. At the bottom, we can see login must use a node record is ID found by the discovery. So already we have done. So below that, we have a command long command. Just copy that login command. Okay. We are going to use this command too. Uh, from the manual page, we can manual uh, of the iSCSI ADM command. We are getting all the commands. Let me replace the IP with the uh, iSCSI target server IP and the target IQN which we got uh, above there is IQN IQN 2017 1 linuxgeekvideo.com rel7 uh, serial number 12345690 this is the one I am going to copy and use it just replace it with that one you don't want to remember the long command it's very use, easy to use the manual page just man iSCSI ADM and get the or come to the bottom of the manual page and get it once I press the login, replace with the required information and press login, uh, just press enter so that the successful we can get the messages uh, logging into iFace default target has been successful. We can see the message successful. Once we get the successful message, uh, we will get a new disk. Okay. Uh, if you run the F disk minus L command, we can see a new disk SDB with 500 MP has been uh, we got the 500 G, uh, MP disk here which we created in the target server side 
let me run the d message command so that we will get to know that some disk has been attached to the server uh, it's clearly showing that this information SCSI information disk SCSI disk has been attached to the server A rel 7 file io the name has been which the disk name was be has been reflected here and the size is little bit lower in the sdb the line we can see the 524 the mp the 500 mp of the disk has been uh, received by the client side so let me do f disk minus uh, let me try to create a disk we can create a, a partition if you want to create a multiple partition we can use the f disk or uh, here i am going to just create a ext4 file system instead of ext file system we can create xfs also let me create a directory first to mount that file system mkdir iscc test tst mkfs dot ext4 file system i am going to create dev sdb okay instead of ext4 we can use xfs or any other file system uh, it's not compulsory to use the ext4 as per your requirement you can use the any file system here just i am creating a ext file system in this disk sdb all right after that i am going to mount it under the iscsi test tst okay proceeded anyway it's asking that it's a full disk whether you want to use it as yes, i want to use it it's format done file system has been created ext4 file system has been created in the sdb5 sdb disk uh, now let me mount mount dev sdb under iskz test okay and df minus h the disk 500 mb has been or the file system has been created in it and we have mounted thus it's very simple to create a uh, it's very simple to work with the client side uh, just by running this few commands let me touch and check some file everything looks fine this is the client side setup for the iSCSI initiator uh, once we create with the LAN in the uh, target CLI side uh, it's very easy in the client side and uh, let me show some more command to check the SCSI cat proc SCSI SCSI so that we give, we are getting only three disk are here one is cd rom from vm vmware and the last one is rel 7 file io which we have created the target uh, target server side and first one is cd rom and the second one is virtual disk uh, the operating system installed disk is the second one and the third one is iSCSI disk thus we can create and work with the iSCSI client set let us see in the next tutorial thanks thanks for watching please subscribe to our channel and keep on watching all the tutorials. Thanks. Thanks for watching.